Okay, in this video, we're going to do some chromatography using kitchen roll. Uh, we're going to use kitchen roll because it's nice and absorbent, so it works quite well. And uh, I just cut it into some little strips. So if I dip one of these little strips into a tray of water, you'll notice that because it's so absorbent, the water absorbs into the paper and starts to rise up the paper. So I can see it's rising up the paper now and that wet line is getting higher and higher and higher on the paper. The process that causes the water to rise up the paper is called capillary action. And we would say that the water is the solvent, the thing that we're going to be dissolving things in. And the wet line that's rising up the paper, we call the solvent front. That's as high up as that wet mark has reached. We can also get a felt tip pen and we can make a little felt tip pen mark on the paper. And if the pen is soluble in the water, dissolves in the water, then instead of just the water rising up the page, the ink is gonna rise up the paper as well. So I'm gonna draw a little inky circle onto my paper. And I'm gonna dip just the end of the paper into the water. I won't dip the ink in, just the end of the paper. And as the water rises up the paper, because the ink is soluble, does dissolve in the water, the ink start, dissolves in the water and rises up the page with the water. Now, not all inks are going to be soluble. And um, so I've got another blue pen here. This one doesn't seem to dissolve in water, but this one does. So I'm going to put them side by side on my page. I'm going to put a dot of the one that does dissolve next to a dot of the one that does not dissolve. And I'm going to dip that into my water, just the end of the paper into the water. And you can see that one of the ink dots starts to rise up the paper and the other one stays exactly where it is. The one that rises up the paper rises up because it dissolves in the water. And the one that stays where it is, is, is insoluble, won't dissolve in the water. And so it won't travel up the page. Now, sometimes the ink will be made up of more than one coloured dye. Um, you might spot a, a, a dark ink, like a dark blue or dark green or black ink onto a piece of paper and you stick it, the end into a solvent like water and as it rises up the page, the colour spreads out into different colours. So instead of just black ink, it might be made up of a range of different coloured dyes. Okay, so what I'm going to have a go at doing now is making some sort of art using our chromatography understanding. So you can use something like a pencil that doesn't dissolve in water, or I've used a um, ballpoint pen because this isn't very inky and this doesn't dissolve very easily in the water either. And you can draw out a picture. So I've drawn some logs for a campfire. You can then take your inky pens that do dissolve and use those to finish off your picture. So if I take an inky red and orange and yellow pen and I add some red, yellow and orange to my logs and dip this in the water, the water is going to drag the red, yellow and orange up the paper and hopefully it'll look a little bit like we've got flames above our logs.